Hello everyone, welcome to Average Joe's, the show where we talk about coffee and burn beans. And this is not your typical coffee review program. No. This is for the every person. Yeah. I, I would even go so far as to say the Average Joe. The Average Joe. Yeah. Yeah, here at Average Joe's we don't talk about fancy uh, hipster coffee brands or or no don't don't let the the uh, sweater fool you or the shirt he is an average Joe just like myself that's us or the haircut don't let the haircut fool you that's either a, or the glasses or the or beard the, he doesn't have a prescription he just wears those that's yeah it's really damning <laughs> And not true. Okay. So. All right. I need these. Uh, well, to be proven, I have not. Okay. Uh, we've gathered here today to discuss uh, a coffee that we picked out together last night. That's not true. Well, that's that is true. We were together. I w okay, I was there, but like we didn't like. It wasn't like we both picked it out. Like you picked yeah, it out, and I but was there. You did not protest. No. You you, you agreed. You're like, yeah. Me thinks the beans doth protest too much. You were. I don't think we can do. I don't think we should do that. <laughs> uh, but anyways, we were in Walmart, which I think is maybe the most average of the yeah. stores. It's yeah. a terrible corporation, and yeah. I, we feel bad. I feel right. bad for even entering. And that's the average. The establishment. But that's the average. It's because you know they've got you by the cojones. You know. I don't, they, think, I don't think we're gonna do that. Their prices are I don't, so, gonna, I don't think we're gonna do that. But this is maybe a uh, a coffee brand you can fool your friends into thinking, oh, they've got a, a cool foreign kind of hipstery hmm. blend. You're saying that word a lot. Um, I thought this wasn't for a uh, hipster. No, it's not. But if you want to fool your friends into thinking that you are a hipster, okay. which I wouldn't do, I'm just saying maybe some of the listeners right. are, have, are having a dilemma where they have yeah. hipster friends. Yeah. They want to impress those friends. Mm. So they, they, they're buying coffee that's budget friendly. Yeah. But also, maybe a little bit cooler than your Folgers or your Maxwell House. And did you know that uh, the, the only reason I had bought this in the first place, because it was the cheapest. It was the cheapest uh, coffee available. How, how much? Two eighty-eight for a uh, uh, ten ounce baggie. For a ten ounce sealed baggie, <laughs> <laughs> coffee baggie. This is the correct term. <laughs> Why is that funny? And just the word baggie is funny. Yeah. Yeah. Without further introduction, today's coffee is Cafe Bustello. Or is it, is it Bustello? Bustello? I mean, to me it looks like Bustello. Bustello. Cafe Bustello. And so the description on the back, it reads, Cafe Bustello coffee has an irresistible aroma and rich taste. It is deliciously versatile coffee that can be prepared using your preferred method drip brewed, which is what we did, cappuccino, espresso, or cold with ice to satisfy all tastes. And then, it ends with uh, my favorite part. The best coffee is enjoyed with company. Do you agree with that? Yeah, that's nice. That's, that's pretty nice. Just the best part of this a nice, whole experience, yeah. getting to do this with you. Yeah. We got the, the nice. deer mug. Yeah. Because you're my dear boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, old sport. <laughs> Absolutely. Cheers. Here we go. <coughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Is that too strong for you? No. Oh, okay. Just the way it went down. Let's see. Yeah, it's like the right amount of bitter. Mm -hmm. Exactly, you're right, yeah. Yeah, and it's not like artificial bitter, like yeah. maybe you get from like a Starbucks or a Dunkin' yeah. Donuts. Yeah, I feel, I mean, if there were more like if you overdid it with this coffee, it would taste bad. Mm -hmm. It's it's very clear on this sip that this this was balanced well by our master oh, brewer. Well, hey, thank you so much. Yeah, so 
The brew dog. Every the brew ha ha. Every different brand of coffee, you know, you, you gotta. It takes a while to get the balance right of scoops um, per cup of water. Did uh, when you first got this, was it kind of touch and go? It was. Yeah, I, I think what I ended up doing at first is I I, I, I make it too weak. I found that it's actually it's very hard to overdo this coffee. I put six very healthy scoops. This coffee holds really well no matter um, if, if you put in four scoops or eight scoops, I think. Yeah. Eight scoops if, if like you're like, oh, I really want a wild buzz. I want to be reeling from this. I want to be bouncing off the walls. That's when you do an eight, an, an eight scoop. But this is the kind of the middle ground, six. It's like right on the cusp of, uh, of like dark. Yeah. You know, like on the cusp of very dark. You know, for as like bright and eye-catching as the package is, I have never noticed this coffee in my life. Really? I've never even like, it's not just that I haven't heard of it. I'm sure it's been on the shelves and I just walk right by it. I've never even been aware of, of this package. Hmm. Yeah, it's something that I, I had noticed, but I don't know. It wasn't one of the name brands that I, you know, have, have uh, grown to love, you know? Like, I will always see it, but I'll never touch it because I'm going for the Folgers or the Maxwell House. But yeah. And now you're a bust boy. Now I'm a bust boy. Give me the bust boys and save my soul. <laughs> I want to get lost down your coffee hole. <laughs> I feel like this episode is kind of a mess. I think already. every episode's a mess already. But it's like, I don't know, something's up with this one. <laughs> Maybe we haven't had enough coffee today, honestly. We, honestly, this, this is our second pot of yeah. the day, and, and usually we're like, you, we're, we're like two pots in at Yeah, least I mean, we haven't, I don't know. No, okay. But also, there's a, there's a danger of overdoing it. Yeah. Because we're hanging out and we're recording music and working on other things, and we don't want to be like out of our minds. That's happened before. Mm -hmm. We don't get anything done. Yeah. It's way too much. It's way too much. We overbrew it. We overbrew it. Damn, dude. Uh, any other thoughts as you're as you're getting into maybe your fourth, fifth sip? How this coffee is holding up? Yeah, I mean it's it's consistently enjoyable. Uh, you know, I don't know. Honestly, it's it's kind of tough to put my finger on it. Mm -hmm. Maybe if I put your finger in it. Yeah. You know. Okay. Go ahead. Do a little. It's hot. Yeah. <sighs> maybe that's it. Maybe it, you, the, the word you were looking for was hot. Pretty hot. Is that the word you're looking for? Hot. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> Whoa. I like, got there. It is actually hot. Connor, any uh, final thoughts on this coffee? I've got a few. It's bold, but it's like unassuming, you know? Absolutely. It does not punch you in the face. The um, the taste kind of lingers yeah. in your mouth in a, in a good way. It's, it's, it's like you don't have to guzzle it down to um, achieve this th that, that same pleasure feeling, you know? The same, the, ple the pleasure, that same pleasure the feeling. Pleasure yeah. feeling. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to, to, to guzzle it down to come. Isn't that what we're doing here? Anyways, what I was gonna say yeah. is that I think it's spot on. It's got a, it's got a rich aroma. Just take a whip. Oh yeah, I didn't waft. Oh, it smells. And it like, smells so so nice. Mm. It's it's just it's it's a pleasurable thing just to, to just to sip on casually and I think most importantly uh, in the company of good friends. Hmm. Were you like paid off by Cafe Bastello? Because not only did you read the back of it like word for word, but but your closing thoughts is pretty much just like you repeating what yeah, you read, well, on, read on the back of it. I'm saying so. that I agreed. Yeah. I'm saying I. I <laughs> I just, <laughs> I just agree wholeheartedly with what they have to say about their own coffee. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's honestly, it's, it's a hidden gem. I think I would call it. Would you agree? Yeah, yeah. I think that's a good way to put it because it's like you know, right? Just like you're saying, you're going down the aisle, and it's just, you know, what I think it is too. It seems like because for the the bigger brand names, average though they may be. You know, you'll go through and they have like a lot of different options. They'll be like French roast, dark roast, medium roast, whatever. And until next time, 
This has been Average oh, Joe's. Oh, this is the end? This is the end. I didn't finish my closing thoughts before. Well, that's just tough noodles. It's gonna cut really weird. It always does. We don't know that because we haven't even edited a single episode <laughs> completely, so. Until next time, don't spill the beans. <laughs> yeah.